Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I want to demonstrate how to import third-party skies into On One Photo Raw 2022. It's a fairly straightforward method, but there is a shortcoming that I want to make you aware of. Now I have On One Photo Raw 2022 open and on my desktop, I have the entire OccuDrone Sky collection in this folder. There's 10 different collections of OccuDrone Skies. You could see all 10 of them are here in their individual folders. I'd like to import all 10 of these collections into On One Photo Raw 2022. And I mentioned it's fairly straightforward. You just go to the Sky tab and then there's an import button. Click on that and you'll get this extras manager. Here is where you would add the skies. So you could see I have actually one of the collections imported already, the cotton candy skies. And that is where the shortcoming comes in. I can't simply import all 10 of the collections at one time. Let me try to demonstrate. I'll click on import and I have the skies on my desktop right here. So if I click on this entire this folder that contains all of the collections, you'll see that an open button appears. If I click on open, it just opens it up to the next level. And I already have the cotton candy skies. Well, I'd like to do the rest of them. If I click on this one, the crystal blue skies, and then I hold the shift key down and click on the last one, nothing happens. Or if I hold the command key in and click on the next one, nothing happens. Or if I hit command or control A, nothing happens. I can't select all of them. So I have to open the crystal blue skies by clicking on open. Then you have the individual skies. And now from here, I could select all of them, but curiously, Commander Control A doesn't work. I have to click on the first one, then go down to the last one and hold in the shift key and click on the last one so that they're all selected. Now I'll click open and it's going to ask me to put them in a category and I don't want them in candy, cotton candy skies. I want them in their own category. So we'll click here and they're it defaulted to the folder name, so that saves you a little time. So crystal blue skies, and we'll click OK. And you'll see then, we'll click OK, and then it imports them. Now you can see the progress bar. So that's the way you have to do it. And I mentioned that, that there is a shortcoming, and in my opinion, that is a shortcoming. You have to select the individual skies. You can't just um, import a folder that contains folders of skies. You have to do it this way. So I want to do the next one now. I'll click on import and I need to go back a step to the Occidrone. Now next would be the op Epic Tropical Sunsets. Click open. And I'm not going to do all of these, uh, the all 10 sky packages in this video, so I won't bore you to tears. We'll just do this one. And I'll hold in the shift key, click on that last one and then click open. I have them all selected, right? Yep. And then it's going to ask me to put them in a category. We're going to add a new category, Epic Tropical Sunsets. Click Import and click OK. And then you'll see a progress bar pop up and it's going to import those. Now once this imports, I'll show you where they are in the Sky tool in On One Photo Raw 2022. So I'll let it finish. And it's actually just copying the images from that folder on my desktop to a folder in On One Photo Raw 2022's uh, area on my computer. So we'll click close. Now, if I want to replace the skies, I would go to category right here, click there, and you could see that they have the built in skies, the aurora borealis, the clouds, the dynamic night, and so on. Now, here are where the OccuDrone skies begin. They're under my skies. You can see the cotton candy skies, the crystal blue skies, the epic tropical sunset skies are here. You can see there. So you could pick like crystal blue sky. Once you click that, then you drill down further by going to the actual sky drop down, and then you have the in individual skies here. And you could hover over them. It take my computer, my computer's running a little slow. But you could hover over them and pick one that you like. I don't know. Find one I like. There's just so many. So let's say you like that one. Then you could do your uh, editing to it, add the reflection, 
down here and I'm not going to do the full edit. You've seen me edit skies in on one photo raw 2022 in post fit in past videos, but that's how you go about doing it. You have to do them on a folder by folder basis and you can't mass import a folder that contains numerous folders of skies. I hope that made sense. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.